Thank you. Uh, Noto, by the way, they do still have their concert and live art performance on tonight. It's the only part of Noto Live that's still on. With that storm chance tomorrow, they have canceled the Saturday events. A fascinating documentary is coming to the capital city. It traces the history of black gospel music in Kansas. New Life Baptist Church will host that viewing. Patrice Newton is here to tell us about it. Welcome, Patrice. Glad you could join us. Thank you very much. And I Glad love the concept here. of this documentary. We were talking before we came on the air that we both really love music and Absolutely. just the story of music in general and the stories that music can tell. What is this documentary called and what's kind of the concept behind it? Well, this documentary is called I'm So Glad. And the concept behind it is um, the black Kansas artists, those who came from Mississippi back all the way back in 1879 and bringing that African-American music with them um, and how those artists have influenced nationally all of the different music genres and how it has influenced black gospel. So, and it goes way past, um, it tells the untold story and goes past just the blues roots, mm -hmm. but actually goes past that and just starts back at the beginning. So it's gonna be very, very interesting. And I have not actually seen the film myself. I've only gotten a chance to see trailers of it, but it's so interesting. There are historians, um, there are musical artists, there are those who have graduated from um, the first black college that was um, not in the South. Mm -hmm. Um, so I'm very, very excited to see this film. I believe that it's really going to bring diversity into our minds of where music really comes from. So I am very much looking forward to it. When we go back to the roots in Kansas, I know that some of the, the material talked about the exodusters that yes. came. Who, who was that group and what did music mean in their life? So the exodusters were um, the first migration of black people after the Civil War. So this was kind of a movement of the um, of people that said, I'm free now and I can do what I want to do. I can go where I want to go. And thousands of people migrated from um, the Jim Crow South into Kansas. And they brought all of those musical and African roots with them and shared that. So from there, that was incorporated in music um, and it went across the nation. So, so many different genres of music have been influenced by African-American music, and this film actually documents how that kind of plays into the music that we listen to today, church music, gospel music, that kind of thing. What The purpose of music, has it really changed all that much when you think about the purpose of music in our lives, do you feel? And what do they talk about? What was the purpose then, and what's the purpose now? I think that has not changed. Music is universal. Mm -hmm. It brings us all together. I think music is a way of expressing inner feelings. It's a way of expressing what you believe. And I think that's the same thing we use music for today. You hear a lot of artists talk about being inspired. So it's really about um, showing what's on the inside of us. And a lot of times what's on the inside, no matter what color, no matter what background, there's something, there's a thread of commonality there. It shares our stories, it shares our history, it shares our hopes and dreams, it shares our emotions. Absolutely. It shares your breakups if you're a Taylor Swift fan. I mean, <laughs> all of that's going into music. What's part of, for, for you maybe one of the surprising things that you learn or reflect on when it comes to how music of the past reflects music today? That people might be like, oh yeah, I guess that is where that came from. Yes, when you just hear some of the um, beats that we just think are um, so, you know, brand new. Mm -hmm. Oh my God, that's amazing. If you listen to some old songs, you'll hear that exact same thread <laughs> going through there. So when you uh, listen to, and even when you listen to rap, when you listen to country, um, when you listen to rap and blues and things like that, you hear a lot of the same types of music. So that's always very interesting to me mm -hmm. that everybody wants to be so different, but it all comes from the same roots. At the end of the day. And the setting of a church to watch this documentary, why is that so appropriate? I think that's so appropriate um, because it speaks about the, the gospel where that gospel comes from. But also I think church is a commonality. Not everyone goes to church, but I think that everyone has some type of root um, in the church. A lot of people have said, well, I started you know, singing in the church choir or I started playing in the church band. you know." Um, so I think that that too kind of brings community together. And even if you're not a church goer, a lot of times a church is a central place where people can come together, share ideas, share like minds and get to know one another. So well, I am excited for this documentary. I think it's a fascinating story. I love music, so I love the stories yes. of music and everything that led to everything else. And yep, I was one of those that started out <laughs> singing in the church choir because that's what you do, right? That's what you do Absolutely. growing up. I'm So Glad is the name of the documentary, Kansas City and the Roots of Black Gospel Music. You can watch it. 
the, the viewing starts at 5 o'clock next Saturday, September 30th at New Life Baptist Church. They're located at 3601 Southwest 10th. I'm so glad you were here to tell us about it, Patrice. Thank and you. free, no one has to bring any. No, no one, one has to bring anything. It starts at 5 o'clock, doors open. The film will start about 5.30. Um, and it is actually narrated by Isaac Cates. So I've heard his voice. He's amazing. So I'm very <laughs> excited to see this. Another way music is bringing us all together. Thanks for telling us about it. Thank you. We are going to find out.